Oh, an agonising evening for Tottenham Hotspur and their supporters. It started so well, they're in control, but then it was perhaps the experience of Juventus that saw them through rather than Spurs. Ryan, what did you make of it all? I thought Spurs were brilliant. I think it was just a five-minute spell where, where Juve they took the chance and um, after that there was... Um, Spurs had a few openings, but it, was, uh, it must be a difficult one to take for the boys because I thought over the both, le both the legs, I thought put as well within a shot of going through. How much do you think Juventus' experience and their players' know-how um, was the reason they went through rather than Spurs? Um, I think the last 20 minutes, you see some of the blocks they were putting in and um, as a team, they sort of almost played in their final third and just eliminated that space and made it difficult for Spurs. But having said that, they created a couple of chances. You know, Harry hit the post with a minute to go. So the chances were there. I just think Juve, like you say, they had that experience of being there and, and knowing how to go through. And um, obviously that's paid off in the end. As a neutral, Craig, for you, was this more about what Juventus did as opposed to Spurs letting it go? Uh, yeah, a lot of credit to Juventus. Um, look, even the first leg, I thought Spurs were brilliant over yeah. in over in Turin. I thought, you know, to go two 0 behind against a really top team, um, to come back and dominate the game the way they did. First half they were good uh, at Wembley today, uh, deservedly won one up. We could have been a couple more, yeah. but this is this is the part. Like credit to Juventus. All right, they changed formation, brought um, Lichtensteiner on, changed the four to, from three at the back to four at the back. Um, and knowing, do you know what? Looks like we're going out, we're not playing well. We need a couple of goals here, otherwise we're going out. And the, the confidence they must have, the belief they must have, because when you get to, to two finals out of three, you're going to have that confidence. Yeah. Even a spell, actually, it isn't going well for us at this present moment, but we know we do get to finals. We know what it takes to get to finals. And that's what got them through today. Mm -hmm. um, no blame towards Spurs. You can't listen. They they were outstanding in the group stages this year, uh, deservedly finished top. Brilliant in this game. Um, it just unfortunately that extra bit of nous just wasn't enough to get them through today. You say no blame at all, and and I, I accept your point. Juventus are an outstanding team. They haven't got to the final two out of the last three for no reason. No. Could Spurs have managed the game better? They're a goal. They're a goal up, and they've got two away from home. Of course, <laughs> that's why they've gone out. Mm. But also... But then the same thing happened to Juve in the first leg. You, you could have said that they could have managed it better, but I just think we see two top European yeah. teams come up against each other tonight, and if Spurs would have gone through, we would have said they deserved it, they were yeah. brilliant, but unfortunately, Juve managed to sneak through. Does this count as progress, though, for Tottenham, for you? I think so. Yeah, I mean, like you say, they, they didn't get out of the group stage last season, I thought... They've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the best teams in Europe over the last three or four seasons, and they were unlucky. I mean, we touched upon it. Juve were brilliant. They know how to win. They didn't play well tonight, but they've got the two goals and then made it difficult for Spurs to break them down. But it's definite progress, in my, my opinion. Yeah. Also, as well, you know that there are a, a, a large section, well, not just us, the media, but fans, and some Tottenham fans were saying, They've got to win a trophy to make progress. It's all very well speaking well of them. They've got to start landing silverware. But does that not count tonight against a side as good as Juventus? Um, look, um, I understand where the media goes with this about, you know, they, they, need to, they need to be winning things and to, you know, to be classed as a top team. Mm -hmm. But I also go back to where Spurs were yeah. mm -hmm. through all my career. Mm -hmm. And Spurs were good to play against, enjoy yeah. playing against them. Mm -hmm. They were a mid-table team. Sometimes they would flirt just a little bit above that. Decent in the Cups because of the tradition they've always had down the years. Uh, but they never really got anywhere. Against a good team, usually you would fancy, a, you know, whether it was a Manchester United or Arsenal or your Chelsea's going to White Hart Lane, you would fancy one of the most important games to go and win. Yeah. They've changed that now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're the Champions League team. They're one of the top teams in the, in the Premier League. So... They are progressing. They are moving forward. They've got a new stadium going into... They're going into a new stadium. Um, they're, to me, on the outside looking in, they're a club on the up, moving forward. Do they need to win a trophy? I, I, they got a great chance of winning the FA Cup this yeah, season. Definitely. I'd like to see them attack that, and I'm sure they will. Um, but we're talking Champions League. Are they realistically going to win a Champions League in the next one, two, three years? I'm, I think that's a little bit further than where they are. As long as they just keep 
competing in the Champions League, by doing that is qualifying, yeah. get that experience, get three, four, five years into, into the Champions League. Because don't forget, these teams like Juventus, you pass, they're in it year in, yeah. year out. That, that experience is it's massive, huge. It's it? huge at that yeah. level. How, yeah. how much does it help the fact that it's not just uh, the players, Juventus players are more experienced, but the club, it has the weight of history behind yeah. it. When you're a team like Spurs, who, you know, are not a major European team, certainly in the last 20 odd years, that they're playing against the weight of history as well with some of these clubs. I'm not sure. I just think Juve are a, are a top, top team with top players and Spurs are a top team with top players as well. I, I don't think that Spurs will be thinking we're not a Champions League, Champions League club. because So they will feel they it. belong? Yeah, 100%. I mean, they went to Juventus' so backyard and they dominated the game for 70 minutes. And I mm. thought tonight, the first half, they, they dominate, dominated Juventus. And like Craig said, they could have gone into that half-time 2-0 up easily. But it just wasn't to be. And in the Champions League... Teams have to ride their luck, you know. It's, it's very rare that a team goes through the whole competition dominating games. And I think Juve, to a certain extent, in the second half, they did ride their luck. I mean, the manager made a few changes and um, his pace <coughs> was a bit brilliant for their second goal. And then they're through and they'll be confident that they can go on and win at, the competition. At this, at this level of football, this is the top level. Yeah. Mm. I've played Champions League, I've played international. Champions League was the hardest level I've played at. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was the intensity, the quality of players were at another level. Yeah. Because international football, yeah, of course, they're, you know, international players, but at the same time, you meet maybe a week or so before, you know, you play a game. Yeah, you might have known each other and have a certain, but you have maybe five, six games a year. These are with each other day in, day out, and they're at the top because every best player in any country can go play Champions League because these, these clubs can mm. come and buy you now. So whether you're in Ecuador and you're not able to qualify international-wise for World Cups, or even though they do, let's name another team like Chile, for instance, <laughs> haven't. Yeah. Those type of teams, they can go. Sanchez can still go and play Champions League football, even though he's not going to go and play in a World Cup this year. So you're best playing a Champions League. I look at it and say, well, during this period, even though Spurs were on top, I thought they were brilliant over in Turin. I know I've just mentioned that, and I thought they were brilliant first half. There will be a period in this game tonight yeah. where Juve are going to be are going to be testing you. Because yeah. of the level of quality of both teams. But can you see it out? And I just thought that was a little bit that was letting them down tonight. They just didn't have enough yeah. to be able to ride out a 5, 10, 15, 20 minute spell. And is and that experience? Does that killer, come from experience? It's, 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 yeah. For me, it yeah. is experience. Yeah, I think it is so. experience. I, I agree. I think um, they will learn a lot from tonight. I know, I know the gaff of the players there. I was going to say, you, it will you hurt. know him very well. Yeah. You know the club well. How, how will Maurizio Pochettino deal with this? And Listen, it will hurt them massively because they will feel like they could have gone through. They was in a great position. But I remember a couple of years ago, we went away to Borussia Dortmund and um, they battered us 3-0. We didn't get a touch on them. And they come to the lane and um, we found it hard. But it was a 2-1. I think we lost 2-1 in the end. But the level between the teams, it felt like there was a lot. I don't think it was a technical thing or anything like that. I think it was just a mentality thing, a mental thing. I, I didn't feel like two years ago this Tottenham team thought they belonged at the top. But I think now Tottenham will come away from this game thinking we're a top European side. Well, I think to bear out what you're saying, we saw the reaction <coughs> of the players at the end. They knew they had gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with the team and, as you said, it could have gone either way. Do you think that reinforces what you're saying, the reaction we saw from the Juve players? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're winners, ain't they? I mean, mm. I'm sure if, if Tottenham went through, they would have had the same reaction because, like Craig said, it's, it's one of the biggest competitions in the world. The, the best go against the best, and um, there's no easy games. Once you, once you get to these knockout stages, every team is a top team. Again, though, what they did in Turin and also tonight, do you think that will also have just ratcheted up slightly the respect with which Tottenham held within Europe? The, the, way, the way they played in Turin, yeah. sometimes, um, especially away from home, sometimes you can send a message that has a ripple effect through Europe. Mm. Juventus would have known coming before the game tonight, they're up against the top teams. Yeah. There was periods they didn't see the ball against, yeah. against Spurs. And sometimes, even I'm there, if I'm there watching it, and say, for instance, I was playing for another club, when I see a team go to a ground like, like Juventus, mm -hmm. um, like in Turin with... Brilliant, a brilliant team, like I said, have got to two European Cups out of the last three, who are a top team, and you see Spurs then go there and dominate, straight away you're like, this is yeah. a good team, by the way. This is a good team. Because there was periods where Juventus, with Pjanic, top players, didn't get didn't to get see the ball. ball. Yeah. Ericsson, Dembele were going past them at will. Um, 
And that, to me, just shows another yeah. step. Yeah. They've gone in, and all right, I'm very I'm disappointed for them they haven't yeah. gone through tonight, but they've made enough of a statement this year to say they will be in the Champions League yeah. next year, but next year they could, they'll, go, they'll go a step further yeah. again. Well, now Spurs have an identity. I think you look at Spurs now and they have a philosophy which yeah. they approach Which they've built, they built for yeah. the last few years. It's not now something it's, that's now happened it's overnight. It's, it's been a progress. And um, like you say about learning, a couple of years ago, they wasn't at that level, but that consistency day in, day out from the manager and the coach and stuff demanding from the players, they've reached that level. And I think, like Craig said, they will learn from it. And I'm sure next season teams will look at Spurs and they won't want to draw them in the Champions like, League. I, I remember being in it with Newcastle and it was, you know, we lost the first three games. Yeah. All right, we ended up winning uh, the next three games and qualifying, but that was, that was by the luck. Yeah. It was literally a good girl at the right time. But the first three games, we were just we were shell-shocked and yeah. the quality was just too much. And actually, we were in that period of, you know, actually, are we lucky to be here or yeah. are we out of our depth here? Mm -hmm. When I went there with Liverpool, it was because when you're just looking around players around you, like Alonso, you obviously Steven different. Gerrard, yeah. just experienced footballers yeah. were able, even when you, we went, I remember playing Bordeaux, played them away, average game, but we went and won 1 0, set piece. But it was just that now, that cleverness, yeah. also discipline to say, well, it doesn't matter. They go, right, they will have a period, we'll see it out. But because of the type of players mm -hmm. we have, the quality we have, all oh, we need is one chance and we're going to score. So if we've seen further evidence, and very solid evidence, that Pochettino is building something special and Spurs are improving, this whole need to win a trophy, to be brutally honest, if they actually win the FA Cup this season, does that make them any better a team? I just think it will change a lot. It will stop everyone saying they need to win a trophy to be considered a good team. For me, they deserve to win a trophy. You know, For a couple of seasons, they've challenged for the Prem, They've come up against a Chelsea team that didn't play European football that, that were fantastic last season and, and the year before that against a Leicester team that, that probably won't happen again. But this Spurs team are progressing every year and I'm, I'm confident that if, if they stay together, they're in a new stadium next year, I think the Gaffer's one of the best in the business and um, I'm sure that the trophies yeah, will come. Look, it's, it's more confidence. You want yeah. them to win a trophy just to say, OK. And it, it, it keeps one or two people yeah. quiet, but... If I was Pochettino and... Um, well, he, 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 he sees Champions League and the Premier League, really, he's made it very clear. Those are the two that he's after. Why shouldn't he? He's yeah. been very close to the They're Champions League. Um, he's been very close, sorry, to the Premier League over the last two seasons. Mm -hmm. Very unlucky to lose out to two teams yeah. who actually weren't playing Champions yeah. League football, like Leicester, which was just incredible, Crazy. and Chelsea last season, which was a one-off. Yeah. When are they never in Europe? Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. So it was ve that, I do feel for him on that. But I look and say, well... All right, if he wins the League Cup and he then goes and wins the FA, FA Cup, Cup in a season, yeah. but he doesn't qualify for Champions League, mm. is that success? But we're all saying he's just won two no. trophies. Yeah. He's proven no, a point. a priority. I, I, I was with Kenny. <laughs> I was with Kenny yeah. Daglish. He won the League Cup, lost yeah. in the FA Cup final. We finished seventh. He gets sacked. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But I tell you what, he's won a trophy, though. The direction Spurs are going in, I, I'm sure that if they carry on this way, then... It's only a matter of time. Man, I, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. To me, it's not. Yeah. I'm it's not. not I mean, yeah, as long as they keep getting the Champions yeah. League, as long as that club keeps pushing forward. I mean, yeah, I agree. I'm sure they won a trophy, trophy in what, five, six years. But no yeah. one's talking about them saying they need to win a trophy to be considered a like, top yeah, team. But when Liverpool have got five European Cups and. Yeah, yeah. Off, but you know, in recent years. It's a different club. The other thing as well, though, will this sort of performance, this sort of progress in Europe, help keep this squad, this nucleus of players at Tottenham, because they can see the progress as well. The attraction for Tottenham is the gaffer and, like I say, the philosophy. The way they play football, the way they go about it, it's a joy to play in. I mean, you can go to other teams and... I think these, the players in the Tottenham team and the squad, they're suited to a certain style of football. Now, if they're in a team that's sitting off playing counter-attacking, I'm not sure that that's as much as a... Yeah, but and to, but this, is, this, is, this, is, this is the problem when it comes to about trophies because that's what's getting thrown at them now. Yeah. Harry Kane, um, certain players at that football club might have to leave because they don't win anything. Because what's happened with Spurs down the years, like your Berbatops going, your Modridges, all those types, they've been really a club yeah. that's went and got them from the other leagues, developed them and then sold them on elsewhere. Yeah. Because yeah. always then, well, and that's why everyone's concerned now at the present moment, they have to win something just so Harry Kane stays, to make sure if you can win trophies by staying at this club. OK. I'm sure he'll stay. Fair yeah. enough. Progress is being made.